Hello, welcome to today's tutorial and we'll be looking at basic ecological concepts. My name is Enyakwati Jennifer. Objectives. At the end of this section, you should be able to define ecology, you should be able to define ecological concepts and also state the basic ecological concepts. Now let's go over to our introduction. Every organism experiences complex relationship with other organisms of its species and organisms of different species. In ecology, everything is connected to something else and there is a constant interaction between organisms and their environments. Now, what is ecology? Ecology is the study of organisms in relation to their relative environments. It is either etocology or synecology. Okay, let's look at what an ecological concept is. Now, ecological concepts are general understandings. They are facts about ecosystem and eco system management now this means that ecological concepts are the general facts about ecosystems they are the information the knowledge about ecosystem and how ecosystem can be managed by humans now ecological principles are based assumptions or beliefs about ecosystems and how they function that are informed by the ecological concepts that means Ecological concepts bring about ecological principles. Okay, that takes us to the basic eco ecological concepts. Basic ecological concepts provide a framework for understanding and researching more about the ecosystem. Now, these concepts, what it means that these, con these concepts gives us the understanding, the insight of what the ecosystem is all about and for further research. Now we have concepts like the population ecology, which is also known as horticology. The horticology studies reveals the dynamics of species population and how these populations interact with the wider environment. A population consists of individual organisms or species that live, interact and migrate through the same niche and habitat. Now we have the community ecology, also known as the synecology. It is the study of group of organisms of different species which are associated together as a unit. We have the biosphere, which is the part of the earth and atmosphere inhabited by living organisms. We have the ecological niche which is the position that animals occupy in a habitat. It includes the physical space where the organism is found and its role in that habitat. In terms of feeding relationship and other interactions with other species. Now, we have another concept called the habitat. Um, habitat is a specific locality with a particular set of conditions where organisms live. Habitats are categorized into terrestrial, which is the land, and the aquatic, which is the water habitats. Now we have the biomass. Biomass is the total dry weight of living organisms at a particular trophic level or per unit area. Example, when you talk about the total weight of maize crop per hectare. Now we have um, the ecosystem. The ecosystem is a natural unit composed of abiotic and biotic factors whose interactions lead to self-sustaining systems. Example of such is seen um, a small bond or a large ecosystem such as the tropical forest. Now we have another concept which is carrying capacity. This means the maximum number of organisms an area can comfortably support without deflection 
of the available resources. Benefits of ecological concepts. We have the environmental conservation. Now, basic ecological concepts prov provide on how every organism needs others for peaceful coexistence. It provides knowledge of how every other organism need each other for peaceful coexistence. Now, we have the benefit of resource allocation. Ecological concepts helps us to know the resources that are needed by different species, such as the air, mineral space. Lack of this study, a lack of the ecological study, may be the cause of deprivation and looting of these natural resources. It's also, it's also of um, importance in terms of energy conservation. The entire living organisms needs energy such as nutrients, such as light, radiation, etc. So lack of these studies will cause the destruction of the energy sources. Oil, coal, natural gases are the no renewable sources which destroy the ozone layer. Now we have another benefit we have another benefit which is the eco-friendliness it helps to appreciate living among organisms this we follow natural order of things in summary we've been able to say every living organism needs other organisms for coexistence we've been able to um, learn that natural and nature and environment are commonly used terms for ecology now knowledge of ecological concepts helps to prevent degradation of land and environment which is living which is a living place of all species okay. we've come to the end of today's tutorials and i uh, would like love to leave you with these two assessments what is an ecological concept list and explain any three basic ecological concepts thank you very much and um, please don't forget to send your answers to jumo smith at edifice dot engine thank you